Let's take a look at how journal entries are made for insurance claims received. The situation arises when a company receives the insurance claim from the company, which is the insurer, for the destroyed fixed asset that has been insured. Please note that if the company receives an insurance claim from the insurance company amounting to 100% of the loss value of the fixed asset, this can make the journal entry for insurance claim received by debiting the cash account and the accumulated depreciation account crediting the fixed asset account. In this journal entry, the credit of the fixed asset is to remove it from the balance sheet as it should already have been destroyed by the accident, say for instance because of fire, to have received the insurance claim from the insurance company. Similarly, the related accumulated depreciation also needs to be removed from the balance sheet too. Hence, the company needs to debit the accumulated depreciation account as in the journal entry above. On the other hand, as mentioned, the recovered amount from the insurance company may be less than 100% of the loss. In this case, the company needs to record the loss related to the unrecovered portion into the income statement to recognize it as an expense in the period. Similarly, the company can make the journal entry for claim receipt for the recovered amount that is less than 100% of the total loss as shown here. Let's look at how the entry would look like when it is less than 100% recovered from insurance. Here you would note that loss due to accident is an expense account that the company needs to recognize for the remaining loss value of the destroyed asset that is not covered by the insurance company. Let's take an example. Thomas & Company's buildings has a net book value of $100,000 and has been destroyed by the fire accident. You may apply your currency here, retain the figures, be it in rupees, pound, euro, etc. Let's continue with the question. However, the building has fire insurance which covers 100% of the building value. As a result, the company Thomas & Company, which is the owner of the building, receives $100,000 of cash as an insurance claim from the insurance company for the destroyed building. The destroyed building has an original cost of $250,000 and an accumulated depreciation of $150,000 when it was destroyed by the fire accident. Here is the solution. In this case, the company Thomas & Co. can make the journal entry for the insurance claim received by recording the $100,000 into the cash account and the $150,000 US dollars into the accumulated depreciation account, crediting the original cost of $250,000 into the building account as shown here. After this journal entry, the destroyed building that has the original cost of $250,000 together with its accumulated depreciation of 150,000 that the company has so far will be removed from the balance sheet. Additionally, as the company Thomas & Co, that's company, receives the insurance claim that is equal to 100% of the loss value of the destroyed building, there is no impact at all on the income statement. Happy learning!